Hello everyone, this is Kosher Bacon. Uh, welcome to our random Minecraft world let's play thing. What is this? This is a map I've been working on called the Death Games. Uh, this is based on, you probably saw the world tour for my test world. This is based on the Death Games over there. Uh, when I designed this, uh, when I originally designed the Death Games, 1.9 Combat hadn't come out, so when 1.9 was released it uh, broke the combat system. The difficulty was much higher. So I redesigned it in a brand new world all of its own, and I really like how it came out. It's something I've worked on and off of, on and off with for the past year or so. So one of the biggest changes was that before there was only uh, one dungeon area where, uh, the point of, yeah, let me explain. So the point of the thing was you would go, select a dungeon, then you select your, uh, oh no, the eggs are missing. No, that sucks. Maybe that's not supposed to be like that. So you would select what it is you're fighting, let's select a zombie, and that shouldn't be... Why is that lapis? What what has happened to this game? How badly is this broken? Select a... Uh, let's be an Axeman, actually. Nope, Swordsman. There are classes over here, let's specify what that is, and then let's pick a difficulty, medium. Okay, so we're a Swordsman, on medium, with zombies. And the trick was is that you could pick whatever... Uh, Type of monster you want, whatever arena you want, and then you would fight them. Let's get this baby out of the way. Yeah, let's lower the hostile creatures difficulty. So the trick was to try and get a more. Uh... What was the trick? The point was to drop the player in an arena, have them fight a whole bunch of monsters originally. I eventually switched it down to fighting one type of monster at a time, or you can mix and match, but there is no uh, scaling, so if you selected skeletons, you'd get X amount of skeletons. If you select zombies, you'll get X amount of zombies. And if you select zombies and skeletons, it's going to be both of those amounts, which is going to be a lot, especially if you select all different of all of the nine different types. I am getting my... <clears throat> So yeah, this is, uh, you know what, let's just end it. You then find the button, push it, and that stops it. So yeah. let's go game mode one. So with the original version, uh, obviously shields weren't a part of it, because at that point I hadn't... I really wonder what's up with this, that these are lapis blocks now. Yeah, let's just... Or maybe I wanted them to be lapis so the buttons could be visible? Maybe that was it. I'm not sure anymore. So the point is, this intersection over here now allows you to select different arenas, and the different arenas might have unique uh, enemies. So for example, Wither Skeletons are part of the Nether Arena, but not part of the Stronghold Arena, and the Ocean Arena features some Guardians. So, we've seen the, uh, you know what, I've got the arenas over here. So this is the Stronghold Arena, as I called it. I've got some barrier blocks up over here, so... Nothing can get in or out. It's permanently nighttime, so monsters won't burn up. And yeah, just some stuff scattered around the edges of it. Uh, well lit enough that you should be able to see without any difficulty. With the nether one, I kind of like it, kind of don't. The red, the redstone blocks surrounded by glowstone are where the enemies will spawn in, and the lapis blocks surrounded by glowstone is where the player spawns in, and also where they can exit by pushing that button. And I tried to create an environment that would keep the player on their toes, but they'd also have fun fighting the enemies. And I think these arenas are just too small, is the issue. Um, the ocean and nether arenas are kind of cool, because there's an underwater portion over here, but not significant amount of it. Uh, you know what, let's just go down there, and I'll show it. Now, one thing I like, obviously, is how much uh, cleaner the redstone and what have you is than the other... Uh, than the other games were. Get up. Up. I believe in you. Um, I actually really like how I designed this one over here. I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, let's just travel far enough away that the red squares disappear. It looks like a mess, but one of the things is that you can choose to be an archer as a subclass, and that gives you a jump boost thing, so you can actually jump up here and fire at things. I'm not sure why you'd want to be a jumpy archer when you've got, like, shulkers and endermen, but it's a thing. 
So yeah, I figured I'd just do a quick overview of this. Uh, I'm not going to play through it. Currently it's not available for download, uh, but maybe in the future that will change. I don't know, just a quick sneak peek? Not really. Just a quick five minute video, because why not? Anyways, thank you all for watching. See you again in the next one.